by Mike Richmond, the Oregonian Oregon of the Portland Trail Blazers are opening training camp with three starting spots solidified. Damian Lillard is the point guard, C.J. McCollum will start at shooting guard and Joseph Nurkic is the starting center. There is an open competition for the two starting forward spots in training camp, and the Blazers have a variety of options as to how they could fill those two vacancies come opening night. Obviously you have Dame, C.J. and Nurk, Blazers coach Terry Stott said. But after I think I have an open mind. There are three legitimate candidates to start at power forward on to begin the season and that spot could remain fluid throughout the year as Stotts figures out the best groupings and how to balance minutes across the rotation. Who earns the starting nod will become clear in time, but before opening night here's a closer look at the competition for the starting power forward spot. Alfred Aminu Sean Meager The Oregonian Oregon of the frontrunner Alfred Aminu argument for Aminu was set to be the full-time starting power forward in 201,617 but a November injury caused him to miss nearly a month and he never settled back into the starting role. However, he remains the Blazers' best and most versatile defender, and the coaching staff likes his shooting ability at that spot. I like him at the four power forward, Stott said of Aminu. I think he's our best defender at the four. I think having a four man who can shoot threes is important. Argument against Aminu's shooting ability for most of last season was more theoretical than practical as he struggled with his outside shot for the first 50 games. Plus, beyond floor spacing he doesn't offer much on the offensive end. Ed Davis AP photo Brent Smith the challenger Ed Davis argument for after playing through an injury most of last season, Davis has returned to full contact action in training camp and has his bounce back, according to Stutz. Davis said at Media Day that he wanted to start at power forward and would use training camp to earn that spot. He is a competent defender both at the rim and in pick and rolls and an excellent defensive rebounder. Most importantly Davis excels at the dirty work and can be at his best without demanding many touches. Argument against his lack of shooting range could lead to serious spacing issues if he shared the court with Nurkic for long stretches. More importantly he is also the Blazers' best option at backup center. The team needs his minutes off the bench more than it does in the starting group. Caleb Swanigan. JPG Mike Richmond staff the darkers Caleb Swanigan argument for it's very possible that by January Swanigan is ready to contribute in a major way. But it's unlikely the Blazers will look to the rookie to soak up extended minutes when the season starts in mid-October. He's a tenacious rebounder and strong enough to play down low against NBA bigs, and he's been flashing an outside shooting stroke in training camp. Argument against he's 20 years old and is talented and seemingly ready as he is there will still be a natural adjustment period. The Blazers desperately need to get off to a strong start, meaning letting Swanigan develop behind the scenes is likely a better option than having him find his way as a starting power forward. He could be the future for the Blazers at power forward, but he might not be the present. Noah Vonley AP photo Lynn Slatke the curveball Noah Vonley argument for, if Vonley were healthy, he would have a legitimate chance to open the season as the Blazers' starting power forward. He played the best basketball of his career when he shared the court with Joseph Nurkic down the stretch last season. Has a solid rebounder with improving shooting touch, and he flashes the defensive versatility that makes him a useful and intriguing option at power forward. Argument against the above section is moot because Vonlet isn't healthy. He's going to miss at least the first two weeks of the regular season. When he is ready to return the Blazers' logjam in the front court rotation gets even thicker, but Portland doesn't have to worry about that issue until at least the first week of November.